Hello, I'm Shirzad and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new features and updates of 3ds Max 2024.2. I'm gonna go through them one by one and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. This video is sponsored by Autodesk and I hope you enjoy it. In the last couple of years, Autodesk seemed to have taken 3ds Max development more seriously. From being one of the first main DCC softwares to migrate to Python 3 to implement industry standard technologies such as USD, OCIO, OpenVDB, and etc. USD or Universal Scene Description and OCIO or Open Color IO will be covered in upcoming videos. For now, let's quickly go through the updates of 3ds Max 2024 to 2024.2. In 2024, we had OCIO. OCIO is a complete color management solution and all the main DCC softwares are migrating to this new technology. To learn more about it, you can check out this video by Autodesk. The next one is the Boolean modifier. Boolean is not only working non-destructively now, it actually offers many new features. One of my favorite ones is OpenVDB. And we finally have an array modifier. It's been one of the most requested feature by the community and it's finally here. Array modifier is a great tool that helps making different types of patterns procedurally. Transform list. It allows users to make different transform controllers and blend them like an animation layer system. This is a great option I always wanted to have in Max. Updated motion paths. Motion paths now display all controller types and works with list controllers. Slate Material Editor Material Editor has been improved and now supports compound nodes to manage and organize your materials. You can think of them as a way to group a bunch of nodes to organize your materials. They can contain more compound nodes in them, so you have the ability to make a nested group of materials which allows you to build more complex materials without getting lost in hundreds of nodes. It does offer a new look and feel and it's faster and also dockable to the Max interface. There is also a new material switcher in this version. Updated modifier search. Searching for modifiers now is much easier compared to the old search bar. It's using Qt, so it's fast and more user friendly. In 2024.1, we had improvements in Boolean modifier, array, animation controllers, and smart extrude all together. But most importantly, the ability to store default values for the parameters. This is another feature that I always wanted to see from Autodesk. And finally, in 2024.2 update, we received more improvements for already existing Max features, including Boolean and Retopology modifier, which does have a faster solving calculation time. But there's more. We have many new features and I'm about to go through them one by one. Assign controller rollout update. This one has been in my wishlist for a while. Assigning new controllers and inspect them in the controller rollout is now much easier and more intuitive. And again, it's using Qt for the interface. Conform modifier. It's a great new modifier that allows a robust conformation of a node onto another. It's really fast and accurate and offers many options to its user. Spillline angle constraint. It's a new constraint option for spillline creation, which you can define by degree in the snap options dialog. Color management. The new color management for Max is now out of preview. It's based on the new industry standard color management system called Open Color IO or OCIO. There is also a new video about OCIO from Autodesk, which I recommend you to watch. Data channel update. Data channel is a great modifier which allows complex modification of a geometry. And in this version, we also have a new operator called MaxScript Process Operator, which allows channel data processing through a scripting. Volume Select Update. This modifier is now up to 10 times faster and allows animating of both material IDs and smoothing groups. Reduced scene file sizes. Another nice update is removing empty animation layers and node tracks and keys to reduce the size of the max files. And last but not least is the Universal Scene Description or USD. This way of managing 3D files from Pixar is becoming the new industry standard scene management system. Pixar, Adobe, Apple, Autodesk and Nvidia joined together to standardize the use of OpenUSD.